Okay, so this is chapter 7, worksheet 2, page 1. From our word equation, we are going to write a balanced chemical equation. So potassium is a metal. We just write K as the chemical symbol. Okay, chlorine is an element, it's a non-metal. And chlorine is in group 7. So group 7, if you remember, it is diatomic. It means you must write Cl and a 2. Okay, now potassium chloride. Potassium is metal. Chloride comes from chlorine. It's non-metal. Put together a metal and non-metal. What you get is an ionic compound. So for ionic compounds, to write the chemical formula, you must look at the ions. So potassium is in group 1, K+. Plus. Chloride is group 7, Cl-. minus. Charges are balanced. So the chemical formula of potassium chloride is KCl. So now we have all the chemical formulas correct. We write down the equation K plus Cl2 arrow KCl. Then we must check whether is it balanced. So 1K, 1K. 2 chlorine, 1 chlorine. So add a number 2. Now we check 1K, 2K. So add a 2. So now 2K, 2K, 2 chlorine, and 2 chlorine. So everything is balanced on the left. All the atoms on the left is the same as on the right. So this is our balanced chemical equation. Okay, for question 2. We have to write the chemical formulas first again. So hydrogen is an element, it's a non-metal. If you remember, hydrogen is a special case, it is diatomic. So your chemical formula will be H2. Okay, nitrogen monoxide. Nitrogen is a non-metal. Oxide comes from oxygen also non-metal. So if both are non-metals, it gives you a covalent compound. So if it's covalent, we just look at the name. So it's mono. So nitrogen is N, mono is just one oxygen. Now we look at water. Water is by memory, H2O. Nitrogen is an element, it's a non-metal. It is a special case where it is also diatomic. So meaning your chemical formula will be N2. Okay, so now when you get all the chemical formulas correct, then you write it down as an equation. Then you have to do balancing. So two hydrogen, two hydrogen, one oxygen, one oxygen, one nitrogen, two nitrogen. So nitrogen is not balanced, so we add a two on the left. So two hydrogen, two hydrogen, two nitrogen, oh sorry, two oxygen, one oxygen. So we have to put a two in front as well. Okay, then take your time, you can always count again. So let's check again. Two oxygen, two oxygen. Now my oxygen is balanced. My nitrogen, two nitrogen, and two nitrogen also balanced. How about my hydrogen? Four hydrogen on the right. On the left, I can put a two in front and this will also give me four. So this equation is balanced. If you are not comfortable with doing mentally, just take a paper, do your left hand side and right hand side. Then you will get the answer as well. Okay, so in this case, since there are quite a few steps just now, we will use the left hand side and right hand side to show you how to get the final answer. Okay, so again write the equation down, then you write your left hand side and right hand side. Write down the elements H, N and O. So hydrogen has two. Nitrogen is 1, oxygen is 1.
right hand side hydrogen is two nitrogen is two oxygen is one balance not balance balance so we need more nitrogen on the left so you write the equation again then you add a two Where do you add the 2? You add it on the left hand side in front of what has nitrogen. So you start your left hand side and right hand side again. And let's count. 2 hydrogen, 2 nitrogen, 2 oxygen, 2 hydrogen, 2 nitrogen. 1 oxygen. Balance, balance, not balance. Need more oxygen on the right hand side. So don't give up. Perseverance and you will get this. Doesn't matter whether you are very good in chemistry or not. It's all about counting. Okay, so we write the equation one more time. Copying everything above down and then we need more oxygen on the right hand side so in front of water in front of H2O we'll put a number 2 And then you repeat and count 2 hydrogen, 2 nitrogen, 2 oxygen, 2 times 2, 4 hydrogen, 2 nitrogen, and 2 oxygen. So not balance, balance, balance. So need more hydrogen on the left hand side. So how, what number should we put in front of hydrogen? On the left hand side. So you want to get 4, so you just put a number 2 in front because 2 times 2 will give you 4. Okay, and you can do your final check, either mentally or you can write it out one last time. And then you count. 2 times 2 equals to 4, 2 nitrogen, 2 oxygen, 2 times 2 equals to 4, 2 nitrogen, 2 oxygen. Balance. All are balanced. So your final answer is this. Okay, so this is the other way to do it. Alright, last question. Hydrochloric acid, this is based on memory, it will be HCl. Magnesium is an element, it's a metal. So the chemical formula is just the chemical symbol. So we write Mg. Magnesium chloride solution, magnesium is a metal. Chloride comes from chlorine, which is a non-metal. Metal and non-metal will give you an ionic compound. So you must use ions to get the chemical formula. So magnesium is in group 2, Mg2+. Chloride is group 7, Cl-. How to balance? You need one more chloride to balance. So once you balance, ignore the charges. Simply write down 1 Mg, Cl2. Okay, now hydrogen gas. Hydrogen is an element, it's a non-metal, it's one of the special case that is diatomic. So hydrogen is H2. So we write down the chemical equation. You must get the chemical formula correct before you can do this. 
Okay, then here you can do counting. You can try counting mentally first. So one hydrogen, two hydrogen. So put a two in front. So two hydrogen on the left, two hydrogen on the right. Two chlorine on the left, two chlorine on the right. One magnesium, left and right. So this equation is balanced.